Okay, we're back everyone, and what we're gonna do is just run south down this road. Looks like there's another conversation. Uh, maybe something new here. One more conversation. Once all that's done, we'll head down here and we'll continue on with this mission. So let's see what we've got. We've never been down this road either. It's funny that we've been playing the game for like 30 hours and there's so many areas of the game we haven't even been in yet. And keep in mind, we're in Hawaii. By the way, I should give you guys a little forewarning. This game doesn't just take place in Hawaii. We're only in the first half of the game. I'm serious. <clears throat> Dollar Discoverer. How nice. What are you looking at? Don't cry to your mom. The battle is over. Here we go. Full power. Use level 8 tough enemies. Yes. Thank goodness you could just beat them instantly. So where's the conversation we passed it? It's over here. I'm feeling great. Oh look, they sell comics. They even have Japanese manga. Huh. Interesting how they changed the covers. Gives the book a different vibe. Huh. Imagine you liking comics. You know it. What I like is This does not look like a comic book shop at all. Print. That way I can read as much as I want anytime. Those are like regular books. What an age to be alive. <laughs> if you say so, old timer. The same. Anything you'd recommend? Oh, let's see. As far as ebooks go, I like this one here. Oh, and this one too. Hmm. Chichan, these are all kids' comics. Nah. Nothing but gags and art jokes. Oh, well, yeah. So what? They're funny. What's wrong with wanting to laugh? Oh, no, no, no. I, I actually love this stuff. I had no idea. What the hell? Where I know we're friends. Leave me alone. <gasps> he understands. All right. Anyway. All right. Friendship up. Dark Gaming says there's another honk honk if we go down this road on the right hand side of the map. Oh, yeah. Aloha. Aw, oh, thanks. Stop saying aloha. It's creeping me out the way she's saying it. <laughs> she, aloha. Oh, hi, aloha. <laughs> Weirdo. <clears throat> oh, aloha. Oh. So, okay, another conversation, and then down here is the quest. Hey! Hmm? A modest fortune. There's no such thing. I can handle anything. If you have enough to call something a fortune, it ain't modest. A crappy level 2 hero sword. Smack down on the ruffians. Dark Gaming says it's actually right near the quest. All right, we'll probably do it then. Get some stats up. Want to hit everything level 10, obviously. Damn, she fucking murdered this guy. She took his fucking face off with the rape. Here we go. Save this guy quick. Bring it on. Take that! <laughs> oh, they're doing double teams. I won't hold that. Oi, oi, oh, bloody murder! They're doing double team bloody murder attack. All right, you saved him. An iron chunk. Gee, thanks. Broad solidarity. I think because we have twenty true friends now. Okay, the conversation's over here. Hello. Hey. She didn't want to be a friend because that guy bumped her or something. What a jerk. Okay, conversation over here. All right, shitty air gun. There's so many pretty flowers out here, all in fresh bloom. You got a favorite flower, Chichon? Hmm, what do I like? Maybe roses? So cliche. Roses. Sure are classy. I've actually tried growing some, but it's really hard. They're surprisingly delicate. Tricky to water and a royal pain to prune. <sighs> you can imagine how proud I was when I finally got them to grow. <sighs> Makes me wonder if I'll ever have my day in the sun. She John? <laughs> Just thinking aloud. Roses sure are tough, huh? Even with the barbs and beauty, they still got to struggle to the top. I think I understand a little better now. Thanks, Jichan. Not sure you need to thank me, but <laughs> I guess you're welcome. 
We're really opening up. So my parents used to grow roses in their yard. I don't know if they still do, but they used to have multiple rose bushes in their yard. They can be a little annoying to grow. You have to prune them a lot. All right, we got a rose so up to level 37. Oh, uh, let's see here. You're back, Derek. Okay, welcome back. Dark Gaming says, when I was a teen, I gave a girl roses. She cut her finger and never called me again. Yeah, they all have thorns. Roses have thorns. You got to be super careful. You could get a pretty bad cut from a thorn if you're not paying attention. Aloha. All right, we got a mission coming up. Suja Munch. Oh, here's someone you can invite to the island. Here we go. D rank guest. Did I ever do gardening with my parents? I did some. I did. When I was younger, I would help them. And then as I got older, if I went out there and did some of it without their help, but I just did it, you know, sometimes it was like a chore. And then as I got older after that, like for, for allowance, I would do it and they would just give me a little bit of money for doing it. So it <clears throat> really depended on what it was. Mood booster. We're getting there. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. We've been here before because we opened that chest. Oh, it's the Hong Kong boy. Here we go. $500. Time to get Hong. Yeah. Right in the good and plenties. So is he going to do it for every stat again? 30 for every stat, I believe. Right in the good and plenties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it when they honk honk my good and plenties. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Did you make it out of the rain all, all right last time, Kiana? The storms here are so much more intense than Japan's, it seriously caught me off guard. She's not talking anymore. Oh, right. Are you taking donations still? Here, oh, let me help. Oh, man. Is Sawai trying to give her even more money? Um, do you think you could maybe stop coming here? Huh? Uh, sorry, I didn't catch that. What were you saying? It kills me every time I take someone's money, every time I take your money. Please, just don't go looking for me anymore. I'm so sorry. Wow. Kiana, is something wrong? Please wait. Well, that was weird. I should go see if everything's all right. Now, where the hell did they go? What the fuck? Where did they go? Oh, come on. I just came from over there. Well, I guess that's where we're going. But let's save this guy first. Hello. Save this guy. Her name was Kiana. Bring it on. Okay, Damn, look at that double ping. Follow my lead. What the why is he so evasive? <laughs> Nice combo. These combos are crazy. Okay. Alright. Level up that friendship. And... Oh, yep, we're another buddy. So we're getting many more buddies now. They're doing all of this. Uh, no, it's another street up. How annoying. I have to go through all this again. We're getting a lot of buddies. Look out, she's gonna call you back to freaking Revolve Bar again for another reward. I mean, we did get a good sword last time. <clears throat> this way? Uh, how do we get there? I don't know how we get there, because that looks like it's in a building or something. How the hell do we get to that? Oh, oh, oh. This is it. That came out well. Nice. Big King Pizza. You mow the lawn? Oh, I used to do a lot of different things. I used to mow the lawn. I used to weed and do, like, upkeep watering of plants. 
I used to wash the car. I used to wax the car. I did a lot of different, like, yard work and things around, you know, around the house for chores and stuff when I was a kid. It was a requirement. If I didn't do it, my parents would have kicked me out, threw me into the streets. I was enjoying fresh Pokemon when this idea came to me. A commercial sink blueprint for Dondonko Island, of course. Here it is. This must be it. Aha. What the hell is that? What the hell are you thinking? Why didn't you take his damn money? <clears throat> that Japanese fellow's easy pickings, you know. You bet I squeeze every penny out of him. I don't want any part of this anymore. I want to quit. Do you even hear yourself? How are you planning to pay back the rest of your debt then? Just do as we say and you'll make your money back. Now get back out there and scam those dumb tourists. Got it? Shut your trap and get back. Get your... Get and go back your eyes at that loser. No, forget it. I don't want to keep lying to him anymore. You don't get a say in this, bitch. Stop! Mr. Sawai. You stop right there. Don't hurt her. And who the hell are you? Hold up. This is the sucker we've been stringing along. Who would have thought that he'd come straight to us? What? Don't tell me you're here too, huh? Support our cause. You're one enthusiastic donor. I'll give you that. You better step away from Kiana. She means the world to me. Or else what? Then, then you'll have to get through me. Ha 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 ha! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sawai! Well, should've just kept ogling her and paying up. This girl's still got a lot of use out of her pretty face. Ain't no way she's getting off for free. We're gonna suck her dry. Huh? Get away from her! I won't let you do that! Come on! Fuck him up real good. Alright, there they go. <laughs> I like that the game just lets him get destroyed. Look, the game just allows him to get his ass beat. No one comes to the rescue to stop the beatdown. The beatdown continues. Oh my god. Think you're tough shit now, don't you? Maybe we ought to kill him. Knock it off. I'll do whatever you say, please. Just stop. Wow. Kiana! Oh, shit! <laughs> hey, glad you're catching on. Come on, we're through this with this chump. Uh, just nab his money and toss him. You got it, boss. Wow. Wow. He got fucked up. No one saved him. Damn it! Damn it all! Hey, pull yourself together, man. Kazuka-san, I'm so frustrated with myself. I couldn't protect her at all. You were great, man. Hold on! Hey, hold up. Oh, what now? How about you step away from the girl? Huh? Why the hell should we? You got nothing to do with her. Well, you see, that girl gave me a flower before, and I didn't get the chance to thank her yet. Oh, by the way. What? That guy you socked earlier? He's a good friend of mine. So no way in hell I'm going to let the bigger person... I'm going to be the bigger person and let that punch slide. <laughs> you done with spewing bullshit yet? Care about your little friend so much? We'll have him bury the both of you together. They're a very threatening level 8 group. Goodbye. <laughs> See, we took so long to do some of these side quests, now they're all just piss easy. There you go. <clears throat> the hell is wrong with this guy? There you go. He's way too strong. So you're the ones behind the donation scams? Just let her go already. Hasn't she made enough money for you assholes? Huh. If I catch you guys duping people again, I'm gonna beat this lesson into your heads. 
until it sticks. Got it? G got it! We won't ever run another scam again, ever! Nah. You okay, Kiana? Yeah. Thank you for saving me. If you're gonna thank someone, thank him. He's the one who put his neck on the line trying to save you. Bone draw broken. Right. Internal bleeding. Thank you so much, Mr. Sawai. I never imagined you'd get roughed up for my sake. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe, Kiana. And I'm so sorry for lying to you this whole time. The donation thing was a ruse. Uh huh? When I was younger, my parents up and disappeared one day, leaving me with all their debt. Uh... I was at a complete loss until those people showed up. That's not how it works in the United States. If you're if your parents die, you're not left with your parents' debt. That's complete bullshit. So whoever wrote this has no idea how debt works here in the US. That's not how it happens at all. They told me there was a way to help people and to make money at the same time. So I jumped at the opportunity. But I was an idiot. The whole job was a scam and I was just fooling tourists into donating. <laughs> By then, it was too late to back out. I spent day after day asking for fake donations, and my earnings were only enough to pay back the interest. <laughs> At first, it pricked my conscience, yeah, but eventually, I became numb to the guilt. It felt like nothing could spark joy in my life anymore. Because of them, I tricked so many people, <laughs> including you. Mm. But of all those people, one of them showed someone as awful as me. Kindness. Every time that person came to visit me, he only had nice things to say. He even gave me an umbrella wow. one rainy day, leaving him running around soaking wet. And his name was Bob, and he's really handsome, and he's right over there, so I'm going to go say hi and go out with him. See you later, Sawai. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm talking about you, oh. Mr. Sawai. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Kiana. I'm a horrible person, and I honestly don't deserve your sympathy. But it's been such a long time since anyone's treated me that way. You made me really happy. And yet, at the same time, it, it killed me. It did? I couldn't bear the fact that I was cheating such a kind soul, but I kept at it anyway. Even though you knew I'd been lying this whole time, you were always smiling at me. And every single one of your smiles gutted me like a knife. I wanted to smile back at you, but I, I, I couldn't bring myself to. The guilt was too much. It felt like it was crushing me. I just didn't want to hurt you or hurt myself anymore. So I ran. But in the end, you wound up in danger all because of me. I am so sorry. Oh. Please don't cry, Kiana. It pains me to see your tears. Besides, you haven't hurt me at all. Truth be told, I'm actually grateful for what you've done. Huh? What do you mean? I've done such awful things, both to you and other people. Yeah, what about all those other people? Screw them, huh? Oh, I see. Maybe you were only kind to me so that you could scam me, but you showed me kindness nonetheless. My old workplace back <clears throat> in Japan wasn't the greatest. I was mocked and ridiculed. Nobody had anything nice to say. Every single day, I couldn't help but think that there was no reason for someone as useless as me to live. I just couldn't take it anymore, so I ran away to Hawaii. But then, you and Kasuga-san came into my life. You helped me when I was having trouble finding my hotel. There are kind people out in this world. Sure, it didn't seem like much, but neither of you probably even realized that you saved me then. So why? Scamming people was wrong, of course, but even then I was happy you were so nice to me. So thank you, Kiana. Please don't be too hard on yourself. 
I only hope to see that lovely smile of yours again. Mr. Sawai. By the way, this quest was written by the guy who gave Amaranth, like, that giant, like, $10,000 bag of money. That's what I heard. And he never got to hug her like that. <laughs> thank you for everything, Cuscus. <clears throat> Truly, thank you so much. Don't mention it. So, what are you two gonna do now? I've been thinking, and maybe it's best I atone for my crimes. I want to be able to face Mr. Sawai, guilt-free, with my head held high. I get that. And once I'm in the clear, I'll work hard to pay off all my debt, so I can live a better life. <laughs> you mean the two of us will, right? No, I don't. <laughs> no. Who brought you into this, sucker? As long as oh, you keep bankrolling it, sure, why not? Already? <laughs> <You're brave. laughs> I'm sorry about that, but I am serious about Kiana. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. You're an idiot. I want to work with her, help her pay off the debt. As long as we're together, it doesn't matter how simple our lives will wow. be. Wow. I just want to stay at her side. <laughs> sure, we might be moving really fast, but I mean every word. Is that so strange? Oh, I think you're fine. I'm not going to tell you how to live your love life. Heck, I'll be rooting for you too. What a dummy. You like death when we first met. You're so full of life right now, man. You finally found a reason to live. And Kiana's not the only one with a beautiful smile. Yours is pretty great, too. First in smiles, Ichiban Confections. <laughs> Ever heard of that little slogan? Uh, uh, <laughs> nope. Can't reference to the help. first game. Well, anyway, <clears throat> you've been a big help, Kasuga-san. Here, take this. A happy lay brings good luck when worn around the neck. Now, we already have one that raises item drop rate. I wonder what this one does. Uh, I really can't thank you enough. Do take care. <clears throat> Thanks. You too. Good luck, man. Hmm? Oh, dear. This is quite the conundrum. Is something the matter, ma'am? Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, why, thank you. I've been looking for this hotel, actually. I believe it's called Beachside. Ha <laughs> ha Do you mean Seaside Hotel, by chance? That place is very special to us. We could take you there ourselves. Oh, right. That's the place. Thank you very much. What a sweet couple you are. How nice. Real nice folk, those mm -hmm. two. Sure, they came from different corners of the world, but they both wanted the same thing. Guess a little kindness goes a long way. I hope you guys keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. And the old woman was never seen again. The end. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> All right, well. Finally, that quest line finished. So, wait, we got a, a new lay, correct? And so the lay we currently have on is the fairy lay. Greatly increase items obtained from battle. The happy lay just increases items. This greatly increases items. Do they stack? I wonder if they stack. Like, if he puts this on, does that stack the amount of items we get from battle? I really wonder. All right. Um. So, it looks like we have now cleared out everything on the right side of the map. We do have one more conversation, two more conversations in this area. Let's do those fast. And then we'll move on to the other... Uh, <clears throat> we'll move on to the other side quests that are available to do. So there's a conversation up here in the smoothie shop. This is it. That came out well. Matsumoto Shaved Ice. It's the sa Shaved Ice Shop. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> little shake and bake for our first YouTube side contribution of the stream. It is a super sticker of a couple of hearts. I appreciate that little shake and bake. 
Uh, I'm being told that many side quests are locked to further chapters. That's fine. We still have tons to do to, to finish up here. Chitose oh, wants candy. Look at all the goodies here. Just like the old-timey sweet shops back home. You're into Japanese sweets? Yeah, they're all so bright and colorful. Though, I've never actually gone and bought any myself. Really? Never? Nope. Only read about them in books. I'd love to actually try them sometime. Souvenir shop. And I gotta take you to a real old-fashioned mom-and-pop shop back in Japan. Some even give out bonus prizes. Heck, <laughs> you can pick up 300 yen worth of snacks. My treat. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> no pun intended. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. All right. And that gives us another bingo. A double bingo. Damn, we're so close <clears throat> now. Oh, 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 no. Another friendship link. We got another friendship link. You know what that means. We're right here. We might as well do it. We're at Revolve Bar. Let's get it done. We're here. I'm stuck on this fucking sign. All right, let's do this. Now we won't have to do these for a while because the only ones left are the final links after this one. Okay? Here we go. <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> Looks like Chichan's on the phone. Yo, Chichan. Something the matter? Oh, hey. Um, did you hear everything? Nah, didn't hear a thing. Oh, okay. Well, I was on the phone with Gramps, and apparently he heard a pretty disturbing rumor. Oh, no. Don't tell me it was about you. Yep. It's kind of old news now, but word got out that I got into District 5 by stealing someone's passport. Ah. I guess it's not so much a rumor, you know, since it's true. Someone's passport, you say? You mean mine? It doesn't really matter whose. No. Anyway, he heard about how I was looking for the Barracuda's oh, hideout. But that stuff's all water under the bridge now. Can't you just tell him it was someone else? I did. But Gramps is still distraught because the young lady in the rumor sounds just like me. And now he won't believe a single word I say. The. Wait, hold up. How did your Gramps even hear about these rumors? I thought he didn't know anyone here in Hawaii. I probably underestimated him on that front. He's so polite. He can strike up a conversation with just about anyone. Before I knew <clears> it, <throat> he made himself a friend. Said Jeff told him all about the rumors. Wait, Jeff? Uh, as in taco guy Jeff? The, the one selling stolen goods? Yep, the very same. Gramps loved his tacos so much, he's been getting oh, them for lunch. Oh, I said they're terrible. Even though he knows that Jeff is kind of shady, he still enjoys talking to him. Well, damn. A former martial artist, a Fujinomi, a butler, and a smooth talker at his age. I honestly didn't see this coming. Gramps is actually driving me into a corner. So you didn't know anything. Should we do something about it? We could try to bring him to our side. We already tried this multiple times. She says don't do it. Should we do something about it? <clears throat> Should we do something about it? Stop him from cornering you? Uh, I feel like if we try to pull one over on him, we might slip up somewhere. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see then. Well, I doubt he's going to find me anytime soon, so I'm trying not to panic right now. Huh? Wait a sec. Are you worried he'll wind up in danger somehow? What do you mean? I mean, your Grams heard that you went to District 5, right? But since you're not fessing up, what do you think he'll do next? I don't know. I'd make my way to District 5 so I could get to the bottom of this. What? And once I got my hands on some proof, I'd ask you to tell me the truth. But, but there's no way Grams could just wander into a place like that. You've got to steal a passport, or find some dirty cop willing to get you in. Right, but your Gramps wouldn't know about any of that. He's just going to try his damnedest to trace your steps. Yep. And if there's some Barracudas <clears throat> hanging around, I don't know if he'll come out entirely unscathed. Yeah, for sure. Oh, crap. I better try calling him back. I have to tell him that if he's thinking about heading to District 5, don't. 
Did I make you even more worried? Probably best to keep an eye on him. He must be touched by the worrying over him. I'm sure your Gramps is real touched that you're worrying over him this much, though. If I were ever a butler, I'd feel that way. Back in the day, you wouldn't have to worry over him so much. But he's not young anymore. He spoiled me for practically my entire life. <clears throat> so I should at least try to return the favor. <laughs> Sounding real inspiring today, Chi-chan. <laughs> Maybe because I am. Never thought there'd be a day where I'm the one worrying about him. <laughs> All of that just made me realize how much time has passed. <laughs> you better remember this feeling. Because in times like this, a good drink really hits the spot. <laughs> Didn't know that. Guess I'll have to give it a try. For sure. <sighs> All right. Now we shouldn't have these for a while because now we've done almost all of them. The maximum ones probably take quite a while to get, I would bet. So, all right. Now, we're off. There's one more conversation link in this area. Then if we go back to the west side of town, that's where the rest of the missions are. Yeah, see, here it is. House hunting with Shitose. Let's do this. Then we've done everything except down here. We can do that fast, right? And then we can actually start doing more missions like this and this. And the, okay, okay, let's do it. So this is down here, right? Uh, right here. I could take on anything. <clears throat> she could take on anything. Do I like candy? No, I absolutely what hate it. I'm a healthaholic. All I do is I suck on vegetables all day. Even if I don't eat them, I suck on them, and I get the essence of veggie in my mouth. Hello? Absolutely delicious. Anyway, um, Dark Gaming says you have more than half the game left. No need to do everything at once. We're not doing everything at once. Like, we skipped this for ages. That's the point. Like, the things we're doing now, you've seen a lot of these missions are low level. We've skipped them to do the grinding. So I'm just trying to get some stuff done now before we move on. Because I, I actually, little spoiler, I know that later on in the game, you get locked out of a lot of content for several chapters. So I want to do some of it now. A place to call your own. I guess a guy can dream. So, according to this, you'll need to shell out... 2,500 bucks a month. That'd be somewhere over 300,000 yen? <laughs> Damn, forget that. Yeah, guess you'll have to keep dreaming. Oh, We're really opening up. All right. We got a fight here to do quick. There we go. Yeah, I'm playing catch up. This is all stuff that you could have done over the course of a chapter or two. Well, remember that we were so busy grinding, rushing through to try to get to Dondoko Island and unlock these jobs, that basically we didn't do any of the side contests, so that's why I'm doing it now. Okay. And now he's maxed out. Alright. So, that's that conversation. The next conversation is down here. Let's do that fast. Don't get hit by the, the freaking bus. This is it. Guava bar. Well. A surf flounder. It's a giant freaking fish. <laughs> Blacksmith's over there. I just don't think we're going to have enough items to do any, any crafting. We could look quick. But I don't think we're going to have nearly enough items to do anything significant. Welcome. What is it now? So, craft a weapon. We saw the one for samurai. Yeah, look. The Dancing God Katana. Secret Longsword and a Lava Geode, so we don't have that. Shark Tooth Longsword. That's what we have now. We made we made the Megalodon, right? If we upgrade that other level 4 sword, it'll actually end up being better than the Megalodon, I think. <clears throat> now, we don't have the items we need to do any of these. Nope. Uh, there's no... Wait a minute. There's no... F I just realized there's no... Line... Oh, there is linebacker. I'm stupid. I'm blind. I had it. It was right in my face. I didn't see it. <laughs> of course there was. That's what we're using right now. The spiky band. All right. Uh, What about weapon upgrades, right? Like, what if we wanted to do for the samurai? Where I know... Here's the Megalodon. Level 2. But as you can see... So, basically, they're, they're, they're very similar swords. This one has... Um, critical hit damage buff and a, and a water effect or ice effect. This one has a paralyzation effect. 
But I do like the fact that this sword actually has the element. So I think we're just going to stick with what we've got. I think so. All right, John, see you later. Your phone needs to charge. It's all good. So, yeah, I think... Whose was it that we didn't really upgrade? He, we didn't upgrade Spiky Band at all. See that? We have nothing. Oh, wait. We have a ton. Oh, my God. We have a ton. Where did we get these from? I don't even know. I'll start right now. Spiky Band just hit Tell level 11. Look at that. So at level 11, don't, can't you add a brand? Yes. Look at this. Seal of Flame, boost the damage of fire attacks. Seal of Snow, boost the damage of ice. So... Wow, you can do all these. Wow, there's a million of them. Boost your basic attack damage. Boost critical hit rate. Why don't we just do... We could do boost basic attack damage. Let's do that. Meet your expectations? Yeah. Finished up. Nice. So his basic attack damage was increased. So continuing on with that... If we do Desperado, if we can get his weapon to level, what was it? Level 10. I'll start right now. There you go. You'll be what if I Now he makes you bleed. That's what his does. He makes you bleed with his gunshots. So absolutely we should brand this and add a bleed buff. Oh, boost the damage of gun attacks. Seal of Steel. Let's just do that then. Meet your expect. That'll do it. Nice. Okay. And Samurai. His sword is current level two. Level ten. I'll start right now. Tell Here me we go. <laughs> now his is ice effect. Yeah, ice effect or critical hit. So if we brand it. Yeah, boost damage of ice attacks. That's what we want to do. Seal of Snow. Meet your expectations. Yeah. Finish okay. Up. And then the same thing with her. Her controlled burn rake. It's it's fire, so we need to burst a boost fire attacks. I'll start right now. There you go. You'll be happy. There it is. Fire Meet attacks. Your That'll do it. Done. All right. I'm back again. We uh we're doing a lot of stuff tonight for sure. Okay, we're out to the street again. I think we're done here. We have to go down to this one link here. Let's do that fast, and then we'll probably head west and do a quest or two before we adjourn. We still have about half an hour tonight, just so everyone knows. We're still good with time. We still have about a half an hour to go, so we still have time to do a lot. Not Show me what you got. Okay, I'm Combo attack. Double, triple kill with that combo attack. <laughs> Any of the upcoming jobs I'm looking forward to? Uh, definitely, I think I would like to make a, a, another woman. The tennis pro and the female ninja both sound good. Um, outside of that, the other men jobs, I the other ones that I would like to do are the ones from the first game that apparently aren't available yet. Like the chef was really cool in the first game, but that's not available yet. There's a few ones that you can't do yet. I think later in the game, I don't want to really spoil, but like I said, this game isn't just Hawaii, even though it sounds like it is. It's not. There's other places you go. And I think in those other places, you get other jobs that are available. <clears throat> yes, I'm aware, Dark Gaming, that there's a passive for the hero job that lets you auto-revive. Uh, we'll probably mess with that later. Coffee Machine Blueprint. Probably we have the ability to, like, power level jobs. Nothing like the smell of fresh coffee. I oh, didn't know you were a coffee drinker, Chichon. Oh, heck yeah. I'm happy just staring at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know how some cafes use those drip machines? Yep. They're pretty enchanting to watch. And different cafes have different ones. Coffee watching, huh? This is a hobby for everyone. Maybe I should be more observant next time I grab a cup. <laughs> just don't mad dog the barista or they might spill. All right. 
We got another like bingo. She only has two more conversations, actually. Boom. Oh, uh, let's see here. Han Solo, I'm glad you're having a good time tonight. He says he's playing Forza listening to the stream, and it's awesome. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. And, uh, yes, it was Nanba who had the chef ability in the first game to see if he gets it again in this one or if it's somebody else or maybe more than one person can do it. Um, let's see. Uh, I think we've done everything here now. Like, we've cleared the map at this point. This is the next thing. Embrace your wild side. Matt Tropico's music. Okay, let's fast travel over there. Shout out to Han Solo. Just did a $2 super chat. Big ups, Phil. I look forward to your level one podcast. Thank you to Han Solo. And uh, everyone who's here chilling, thanks for chilling with me here tonight. And I am having a good time. If you do like the stream, you can always contribute to support the streams. That would be great if you could. We still got about 30 minutes left on tonight's stream. Any contribution is appreciated. All right. Let us... Uh, Let's head and see what this next mission is for our, our Tropico dude, the musician. Right over here. We gotta beat up these assholes first. Fast. Bring it on. Ooh! we are. Matt, can I please get your autograph? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> sure. Thank you for your support. Oh my god, it's Matt Tropico. Could I get an autograph too? Me too. Yes. Yeah, of course. I'll get around to everyone, so please no pushing or shoving. That's the guy who was playing the ukulele a while ago. Dang, a whole autograph session out of nowhere? I guess he's actually super popular. <laughs> but despite all the fussing, he says stays humble. I think I get why everyone likes him so much. Uh-oh. What's this? Hey, over there! Isn't that the potato dude? Whoa? Yeah, it is. Hey, where's the spuds? Did it taste good with the grass? Say something, tater tard. What? Ha uh, ha. Uh. What are those kids going on about? Potatoes? Potatoes! The price of fame. What? Wait a minute. What is this? Oh! Oh no, not this again. A UFO? UFO? UFO was from freaking Judgment. Is it gonna bring it back into this game? Because there's been crossovers between the franchises at this point. Close encounters of the bird kind. Understood. It couldn't have been anything else. A seagull maybe, or some kind of drone with a lighting rig. You think a drone could carry a full grown chicken off? <laughs> Don't patronize what? me. What? Someone stole her chicken? I saw it. A bona fide cattle mutilation. What? Cattle what? Please, stick to the facts and not what you've seen in movies. Hello, hello? What's up over here? Oh, it's Karen. You in trouble with the law or something, girl? I didn't do anything. It's a Karen. Last night, a UFO came by my window and beamed up my chicken. For a moment, I thought the police might actually help me. Wait, wait, a UFO? No kidding? But cattle mutilation happens to livestock. Isn't what you're describing more like a abduction? <laughs> if you want to pull sci-fi hoax, do your research. So I got the terms confused. It's not a hoax. It really happened. Doesn't anyone believe me? Officer, please. My little chicken Becky is out there somewhere. A UFO took her and you have to get her back. Um, as far as your chicken goes, ma'am, I suggest you file a report at the station. All right? But the UFO is, how do I put this? Out of my jurisdiction. <laughs> this can't be happening. None of you believe a word I'm saying? Fine then, I'll take care of this myself. Is he okay, you think? Taking off like that? There's no way it's true, right? This UFO thing? Maybe she saw something in her sleep? 
Chicken could have just flew the coop too. Yeah, has to be that. She's Lolo. Just crank wolf. Lolo. Does that mean crazy in like a Hawaiian term? Lolo? Have I ever had a UFO encounter? Absolutely not. I only deal with demons from the underworld. I, I don't deal with aliens. Okay. Um. Well. One thing we haven't done. We never just went on a direct stroll down this road. We could do that. There's actually a conversation down here to do. There's a mission at the mall to do. This is the next story mission, but we might not want to do that yet. With the time we have, maybe we even want to go over here and fight this guy, the final fight, because I think we're, we think we could do it. Um, let's just go down this road and see what we find, because it looks like there might be a bunch of stuff to run into. We've never done this before. Yeah, look, we immediately ran into a chest. Should I open it? Got it. Running shoes. We already got those, and they are crappy. So that's not worth anything. Oh, another uh, pawn shop. Another pawn shop. No reason to go there. I don't want to waste my time on those losers. Let's go this way. Oh, what's this? A kitty. Is it a kitty? Hello. Hello. A wild kitty. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! The cat jumps for joy. Very nice, Coco. What a nice jumping launch for you, Coco. That was awesome. I must admit, I like that. The jumping kitty. Who doesn't like a nice jumping kitty? Get Segway batteries from the pawn shops. I guess you're right, although... Am I ever really going to use the Segway? I've never used it once. So I don't know if I'm ever going to actually use it. It's fine. Aloha! Doesn't exist. It's not here. Nope. This pawn shop sucks. They don't have anything. Thank you very much. Aw, thanks. There you go. Hey, you. Hey, you. All right, let's just do it as fast as they shut up. Harry, you have a good night. See you tomorrow for heavy rain. Sounds good. Jade, you're a little sleepy. If you want to take off, it's all good. I'm still here for at least another 20 minutes or so. But uh, if you guys got to take off, have a good night. Hey, you! All right, we're heading down there towards the conversation, but we've never actually been to the second half of this street yet. Oh, we already... This person's already maxed out. If they're maxed out, why are we going to rescue them? That's a waste of a fight then. Fuck that. I don't care if they're in need. I only do it when I get something for personal gain, right? He has sleep apnea. He needs something energizing. Here, give him a uh, iced coffee. That was a good choice, it said. What happened? Oh, we're fighting. You're enjoying a delicious baked ZT? Sounds good, Dark Gaming. We also will be having a baked ZT dish later on this dinner one day. Don't know what day. Alright, let's recruit this guy. A Jabber Jobber. Jabber Jobber. There you go. Will this persuade you? Are you serious? You trying to pay me off? Guess you're the boss now. Got the jabber jobber. Okay. How many do we have now? I don't even know how many Sujimon we have at this point. Alright, we have never gone. Oh, that's a bat person's max. This guy's not max. Hey! This guy's not max. See, now he's max. He just got max. We've never actually gone south this way. So we'll go down this way, see what's there, and we'll try to get to the conversation. <clears throat> Dark Gaming says there is, is actually a job hidden behind the Sujimon minigame. It is the best magical job in the game. Then we probably will want to do Sujimon eventually. I'm just staying away from it now because let's face it. We spent, no exaggeration, 10 to 15 hours of this playthrough. That's now around 30 hours. Just rushing through and grinding to unlock the side stuff. And I just wanted to now experience the real game. What we're doing right now. Like, this is the real game experience we're doing right now. Um, so that's kind of what I want to focus on for now. I'm not saying we won't go back to the Sujimon minigame eventually. 
I think we will, but I'm just kind of stay away, staying away for it for now. Maybe when we do the Sujimon, we'll just do it the entire goddamn thing. Like, what if we bought, get a ton of good Sujimon? We power level them because we have Sujimon leveling items. From buy, I bought the collector's edition of the game or the better edition of the game, whatever you call it. So it has all the better items. I could just artificially level them up all the way and just, like, turbo my ass through it. I think that might make more sense. By the way... There's a mini boss over here that's weak. We should just destroy them and get what's in that chest. This will be a good workout. Let's do it. Look at this fucking cool. guy. Oh my god. What in the holy hell? Oh, I missed the other guy. Hi. They're weak to the scum scraper. I'll do bubble breach and kill the two. Dark Gaming says yes. If you use items to level Sujimon, it only takes a few minutes to max max them out. So that's probably what we'll just do then. Do you really want to spend insane amounts of time manually grinding them? I mean, probably not. Uh oh, Whoa. god damn! Combos. Ooh, knockback chain is now stronger. And now we can recruit this guy. A championship wrecker, not wrestler, wrecker. Obviously he's based on a wrestler. There you go. Here's a little something from me. Oh. Bam bang. Get ready. Reminds me of the Legion of Doom back in the day. Wrestlers from the 80s and 90s. Rest in peace to both of them. They're both not with us anymore. We can't lose. What was that? Hawk and... Should I Hawk it? and I forgot the... Uh, Hawk and Animal. That's what their names were. Hawk and Animal. Sweet. Athletic Insoles. I'm probably not wearing those. I'm not even going to look at them. <laughs> okay. So we're heading towards the conversation. Good. We've never been down here before. Any items and things I see along the way? Nothing there. Hey, asshole. Hey, asshole. Okay, you asked for it. Full power. <laughs> Dark Gaming says some side quests will only appear during day or night. Yeah, very typical for for Yakuza that that happens. So once you advance the plot, you get day night transition, and then we'll be able to do different ones. Makes sense. It's always been like that. There's a lot of people who like to call me an asshole in Hawaii. These guys are level 16s and they're still letting us smack them down, which is awesome. We don't even have to fight level 16s anymore. What level are we right now? Level 29. That's probably why. <laughs> cool. All right, here's a conversation. Whoa, killer view. Perfect for snapping a pic with the gang. Hey, I won't complain. I didn't know you were such a shutter bug. Uh, if you say so. I just feel like it's the right thing to do. We wouldn't want to save as many happy memories as possible. Especially when times get tough. It's nice, looking back on all the fun. That, and it's easier than keeping a diary. Gotcha! Let's take a photo. You, me, Tommy, everyone. Only request. We gotta make it goofy. Deal. Then let's do it. Thanks, Ichiban. We're really opening up. We got another two. Damn, Bingo. So damn, damn. Everyone is almost max friendship at this point. In fact, there's only one more here. Tomozawa the animator. And is that it? There's only one more conversation. It's Tomozawa. Then we've done all the conversations in the city. And it's just naturally getting your friendship up through things like buying food and stuff. Okay. What is this? The price of fame? Embrace your wild side. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe we should look at that. Do that and then maybe do this and then end for tonight. And the next time we actually advance the story. Oh, wait. No, that's the Tomozawa thing. Hmm. What are you staring at? Run on home okay. When you get every special con every conversation, you'll unlock a special cutscene with each character. Oh, cool. Okay, so where is this mission? In the mall. 
It's not on this floor, so we must have to go up the escalator. Let's see what this mission is. We need a higher ranking, or can we do this now? Oh, yes, we have the higher ranking now. So now, Nick, Nick, Nick Kel Kidman, get it? It's supposed to be Nicole Kidman. It's Nick Kel Kidman. We had the high enough confidence to do that now. So what is this? What is going on here? What the? What's happening here? You fucking eyesore. But please, just leave me alone. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Huh? We're just some punks chasing after our dreams, trying to get our band's name out there. And unlike you, we've been working our asses off, so it wouldn't hurt to have us a little, give us a little spending money, would it? You sold off your pride and soul, all to become popular. By now, you're probably making the big bucks, aren't you? What do you say, Golem Gunwolf? Golem Gunwolf? Huh? Don't call me that ever again. I'm at Tropico now. You think I don't know that? I used to be used to be a fun guy, you know, letting loose, going wild, and playing real music. <laughs> How about this? Become Golem Go Gunwolf again. We'll drop the whole thing for today. Works for no. me. I'll pass. Golem Gunwolf is no more. Oh, yeah? Hand over all your cash and beat it, you fucking sellout. Wow. Uh. Who the hell are you? I'm his fan, and I'd be real bummed out if he got hurt and had to stop playing the ukulele. Also, the way I see it, you're the real eyesores around here. Come on, man. Knock it off and get out of here already. Huh? Seriously? You even know anything about this rat bastard, you old man? This guy makes hundreds, if not thousands, off trash music. Maybe he ought to spare his old pals a dime or two. But first, let's rob this old man blind. Nothing personal, buddy. Now die. <laughs> Nothing personal. Just bloody murder. Oh, okay. Oh, no. They're level 12s. I'm very, very worried about this fight. Damn! Oh, 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 so much for your guard. Bye bye. We've hit level 30. I think we might be good enough level to take on the final MMA fighter stage. So. Think I'm getting stronger. Very nice. Achievement! <clears throat> Resolute Dragon. Reach level 30 with Kasuga. Ugh. Oh, finally learned your lesson? I better not catch you pulling this shit ever again. Huh? Damn it. Jade says, what a rush. I'm an animal. Don't, uh, you won't see me tomorrow. You're not going to be around for the React stuff? All right, Jade. See you Monday then. Unbelievable. Hey, are you all right? Yes. Yeah, thanks. Ha, huh, looks like you ended up helping me again. I never actually introduced myself, did I? I'm Matt Tropico, but you can call me Matthew. Okay. I'm Kasuga. What's up? Do those kind of guys come bother you pretty often? Some kids were calling you weird names, too. <laughs> oh, you heard them? Truth be told, I went through a lot to get to where I am now. Mm. I guess that's the price of fame. It seems like you've had it rough. <clears throat> uh, how about we get out of here? After everything that's happened, this place makes me hard to talk. How about a bar? Drinks are on me. Thanks for helping me. I got a few things I want to get off my chest. All right. Sure thing. Yes. Jern Bike says, I'm confused. I see a football player fighting a guy in a Marriott hotel. I don't know about this game. This game is all, always weird. To our chance encounter, cheers. Cheers. Sup? So do you always play at shopping centers and out on the street? No. Well, I used to do it more often, but ever since I signed with a music label, I haven't really had the chance for stuff like that. That last time I played at places like that was actually a special release party for my new album drop. Oh. Oh, really? I guess I was pretty lucky to hear you play live back then. Going pro is seriously something. That was a real good song, too. Everyone loved it. You're incredible, man. <laughs> that makes me happy to hear. I really am thankful for your support. If only I'd gone with the ukulele from the start. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Well, the people who assaulted me and the kids who called me names were both consequences of my past actions. Your past actions? Did you used to do something other than music? No. No, I've always been a musician, but I just changed genres. Because you see... <clears throat> okay. In the past, I was a pioneer of wild rock. Ooh. What? Wild rock? What's that? Like rock and roll? Yeah. Sort of. I wouldn't expect you to know it because it's a music genre of my own invention. It's where you become one with nature and channel the raging storm that you feel inside... 
however you feel best. Wow. This sounds like a job. It would be cool if you could be like this wild rocker and you could have like music as your weapon, but I don't know if that's available. I, I'm just saying. Uh, I don't really follow. Sounds like it's the complete opposite from what you're doing right now. Mind if I ask why the change? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Yes. I don't mind. You are my savior after all, but it's really not that interesting of a story. Up until a few years back, I decked myself out from head to toe in a punk getup and played guitar under the name Golem Gunwolf. Right. But my act never got popular. I, I couldn't even book a concert venue. Even though I did a ton of guerrilla gigs around town, nothing ever took off. <clears throat> back then, Wild Rock was my whole world. When things didn't work out, I just kept screaming my lungs out. The emotions that I poured into my music were rotten and ugly. To really sell the act that I was one with the earth, I'd pull off stunts where I'd hang potatoes around my neck or tear weeds from the ground and eat them. The list goes on. Mm. That's kind of gross. No lie. Is that why the kids were calling you the potato guy? <clears throat> you really have gone through a lot, but now you can just look back on the past and... No. No way. If I could, I'd erase my past from history. That bad, huh? Yes. Kasuga, I've always wanted to make the kind of music that would give people courage and that would move their hearts. <clears throat> I used Wild Rock to convey all kinds of emotions. I thought that I could inspire others to live kind of confidently and confront their suffering, so I put everything that I had into my songs. But if nobody's listening, then is it really music? Or just white noise? Maybe if our songs don't actually reach people, they're all just meaningless. Then around that time, playing soft pop with the ukulele got popular, and I figured, heh, if I can make a living off music everyone listens to, then this is it. <clears throat> I was determined. I pawned off my beloved guitar and bought my ukulele. <clears throat> So that's what happened. Yes. Well, it helped that I was already good at the guitar. That made learning the ukulele way easier. Somehow I managed to push through and make it as a pop artist. Now I'm more popular than I've ever been. But after I became famous, people from my past started tormenting me. Well, that explains why those guys are messing with you earlier and the kids too. <sighs> after all this time, it's like someone's rubbing salt in an old and festering wound. Like they're exposing my dark past and it's not a pleasant feeling at all. <sighs> yeah, I bet. All I'm hoping for now is that enough time will pass for everyone to forget my history with Wild Rock. As long as music can reach other people, it holds meaning. I'm on the right path now, even though it took me a long time to get there. Oh, um, I kind of dampened the mood there, didn't I? Well, I guess I drank a bit too much. I appreciate you joining me today. I meant to thank you for helping me, but I just ended up going on and on and on about myself. Nah, don't worry about it. I learned a lot about music today, and... Well, I think that your songs are great, so keep up the good work, man. <clears throat> I'm rooting for you. Oh, thank you so much. Well, thank much. you. That means a lot. Let's talk more about you some other time. <laughs> All right. He said music has no meaning if it can't reach people. Maybe he's right. I don't know. Interesting. Let me guess. That's not his final mission, right? It certainly doesn't seem that way. It seems like we are going to have more missions with him. Um, All right. We have time for one more. And I think I would actually like to try to finish the MMA fighter quest line. So I think, I just went the wrong way, son of a bitch. I think we'd I'd like to do that if we go over there and take him on. I'm level 30 now. <clears throat> I think we could do it. We'll save just in case, but I think we can do it. Okay. So we're gonna go due south, and there he is. Can we do it? Let's try. What part of not interested don't you get, buddy? Why the cold shoulder? I just wanted to talk business is all. Yeah, we'll keep it casual. Thing is, everyone in the MMA community is asking about you right now, wondering why you're overseas. Mm hmm? Huh. Are they from Japan? Something about them just feels, I don't know, kind of sleazy. All right, the final showdown for real. See? We do fight cams, too. Haven't been around long, but we're already raking in subscribers. Ever heard of Yoshi Channel? Look us up sometime. Yoshi Channel. That sounds like some trademark infringement. I'm Yoshida, the man it's named after, and this here's my bro, Sas Sasaki. That boy over there is Takuma. Anyway, we were thinking that we could what we could do to boost our visibility and scoop up those sweet influencer dividends. Then the answer hit us. We should collab with Asakura. You're always looking for a fight, yeah? 
Well, there's some video ideas that we came up with. You won't believe who Asakura fights in Hawaii, or Asakura sends dude into coma with this simple trick, or how about Asakura's homie Yoshi swoops in to save the day? That shit'll go viral on name alone. But forget about what we're gonna call it. Right now, let's just get some footage of you kicking ass. As for who you gotta clobber, eh, we'll go pay off some bums. Make them think that they're gonna take a few hits. Little do they know, what kind of big beating is in the works? And even if they get the drop on you somehow, we'll just cut out any parts that we don't want. We'll have you looking invincible out there. Yeah, I'm not about that. All I care about are real fights. One tough bastard slinging it out against another. MMA is about pushing your limits. If all I do is put on a show, I'd never get any stronger. That's why from now on, I'm only going to fight if it's a challenge. <sighs> eh, that's so tame. What? Huh? Yeah. What? You don't think so? Take your last video, for example. Like, it's watchable, but nothing really grabbed my attention. It was just two dudes fighting fair. Who the hell wants to see that? <laughs> what people want to see is idiots getting pulverized. All you gotta do is lay the smack down, name the video something stupid, and you're trending. As for how we split the proceeds, well... Hey, what? I'll say it one last time. I'm done with the hype and this bullshit. You people are annoying as fuck. <laughs> er now get lost. Eep. What's wrong with you, dog? We were trying to make you a star. Fine, be that way, asshole. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Asakura, those guys are giving you some trouble? No. Nah, they're nobodies. Beta's trying to be alphas. <laughs> anyway, today's our finale, isn't it? Gonna guess, uh, gonna guess you've toughened up even more? Okay. Yep. But that doesn't phase you, does it? You look like you're raring to go. Suppose I am. Let's get to it. I want a good fight, Ichiban. Last chance to prepare. Let's do it. We'll see how this goes. Bring it on. All right. No holds barred. Give it everything you got. Man, how tough will he be? So I'm level 30. He's level 33. It's pretty fair, I would think. Um, the question is... What do I want to do? Quarterback sack continuously buffs my defense and possibly makes the enemy rage. Um, if I throw a Hail Mary bomb, it's going to land next turn for giant damage. Let's do that. Eyes of a fighter. He's buffing. Critical hit rate now increased. Open one. Now Mary Bomb lands right on him for big damage. Cool. Let's try quarterback sack. Got it. Show me what you got. That was a powerful combo. Indeed it was. And now he's in block mode. This will guard break it. Open one. I missed it. I keep missing the button input there. So I'm going to have to heal here. Because not only do I need MP, but he did tons of damage. Good thing is I have lots of items to do both. So let's find it. Yeah, here we go. This is what we'll do right here. The high-end assorted chocolates. Let's rock this. Break yourself. Boom. Got the buck. Show me what you got. Knockout combo. Damn, he's fucking powerful. We're close. I mean, I can hit again and then heal. Hmm. Open Show me I'll heal next turn. I'm gonna pummel you. I'm gonna you. You're in it now. Okay, let's heal. I better make this quick. That's not what I wanted. I want to heal. It's a tough fight, but we'll get this done. We will. I'm gonna funnel you. Good blocking. In fact, I probably want to want to heal one more time. Let's 
Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This should boost my defense. Way better. Now he's buffing wow. again. That was disappointing. Let's get it done. Guard break. Boom. Great damage on that one. <sighs> nice. Will power raise. Missed it. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, I gotta heal now. Let's get it done. We'll just do the chocolates again. There you go. Much better. Nice. Got it. He's almost done. And we're getting the big buffs. Let's get it done. Break yourself. Boom. Show me Probably one mean. more to finish up. I'm gonna funnel you. I'm gonna funnel you. Good block. That's time. Finish him. Open one. Boom. Got him. Good fight. Good fight. Jam! Oh! Uh, I got 30,000 experience, basically, and 7,000 cash. Rank up, and I learned hook, hook, hike. Cool. <sighs> You're even stronger than last time. How did you do it? I could say the same for you. Figured I could beat you on the last round. Damn. Very cool. <clears throat> At the same time, I've never felt so alive. Thanks, Ijibon, for all of it. <laughs> right back at ya. Oh, now they're bros. You know, I thought I could have won if I had if I'd gotten that punch in. No use griping about it now, and win or lose, you're still an incredible fighter. I've learned a lot from you. Even a couple of your signature moves, as a matter of fact. Whoa, back up a sec. Isn't that, like, copyright infringement? You're the one recording people's fights without permission. Could say the same to you. Heh, <laughs> uh, touche. Guess we both gotta win out of this. Sup? By the way, what those guys from earlier want from you? Oh, uh, they were just some no-name streamers wanting the collab. They saw that my matches with you were trending, so they probably wanted to hop on that wave. You turned them down or what? Of course I did. Guys like that will do anything to gain clicks. They're 100% shock value, not the kind of thing that I'm going for. My team right now is showing just how exciting a real fight can get. And something that anyone who appreciates martial arts can enjoy, I feel like that's more authentic. Plus, I hate posers, so... <laughs> Shit, alright. Well, it seems like you know what you want. I have to, man. If I didn't know how to curate my content, the fans would see see right through me. It's not easy being a producer, you know. Wow. Huh. Yeah, I guess that there's a lot to keep track of. By the way, those guys talk... To, by the way, the way those guys talk made me think if I realized that I wasn't all that different from them till recently. I treated fights just like anything else in life, said whatever I wanted to draw attention, and I beat down on weaker opponents. Had me reliving some cringy-ass deja vu, that's for sure. But that's not who you are now, right? That's right. Who am I? Who I am now is way closer to who I really want to be. Something is striking a chord with me. Seriously, something is striking a chord with me for sure. That's right. I owe you so much of that to you, Kasuga-san. You helped me make, take my talent and my dream more seriously. You inspired me too, man. <clears throat> so what's next for the MMA maestro? I think I'm going to train a bit more in Hawaii before I head back to Japan. 
<clears throat> if and when you head back to Japan yourself, hit me up. Maybe we can hang out and eat. Sure thing. Guess I'll see you then, Asakuro. There you go. Uh-oh. Bastard. Thinks he's so damn cool. He's changed since he left Japan. That look in his eye was too much. This fucking sucks. If he even showed up in one of our videos, we'd be set for life. Don't worry, boys. We'll just have to go with plan B. Yeah, hello? There's someone I need taken care of. Uh-huh, sure. You name it, we'll pay it. Yeah, pleasure doing business. Uh, just you wait, Asakura. Soon enough, you'll be trending like you never thought possible. So apparently, there's more to the story. It's not done. But I learned a new move called Knockout Combo. Let's take a look at that quickly, and that's where we'll adjourn for the night. So Knockout Combo is a 40 MP move. Throw down an enemy doing bonus damage if they've had a stat debuffed. Okay. So yeah, Merciless Melee is great, right? And then Knockout Combo is even better. H -h Hike. Take reduced damage for a few turns with a chance to make enemies rage. The more you attack, the more damage you'll do next turn. Cool. All right. Guys and gals and everyone else, great stream tonight, right? We had great progress. We did tons of side content. In fact, taking a look here, literally the only side content left on the entirety of the map is this one conversation with Tomazawa, right? And... This coffee mission, which we did not do tonight, right? And that is it. So next time around when we play, which will be Monday night, that's what we'll do. That's exactly what we'll do. We'll do the conversation. We'll do the coffee mission. Oh, it looks like the musician mission has opened up over there. So we'll probably do that. And then we'll probably advance the story. Yeah, we'll actually we'll have some... Oh, wait. Close encounters of the bird kind. So we do have some new side content that opened up. All right, we'll do it. We'll work on all this the next time we play, and then after all that is done, then we'll focus on the story and go from there. But we we knocked out a ton of it tonight. We got the drink links done, which is great, right? So <clears throat> all good, right? That was all good stuff, quirky stuff, some of the most interesting stuff in the game to do. That's why these Yakuza games excel because it has all this awesome open world fun side content. I'm glad we're finally focusing on it. I'm having a good time with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. For the few people who did support, I think there were three. Uh, thanks to those, to anyone who contributed tonight, and to those who watched as well tonight. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. And uh, I hope to see you when I come back to this in a couple of days, all right? Thank you all. Until next time, peace out. Everyone have a good night.